Hi guys, welcome back to another video. It's Dan here from Sports Cars UK. And in today's video, we have another Mail Monday. So we have about four parcels in today's video. So let's jump straight in and get these parcels open. Most unslidey chair in the world. It's creaking now as well. Right, parcel number one. Let's open it out from the bottom because it sellotapes a high hell at the top. We have. Oh, looks like a small one. Oh, okay, that's just a note. Oh, nice. Okay, so you would have seen in the uh, previous uh, pickup, we picked up a. George Best in his Northern Ireland card, the shoot, uh, shootout, was it shootout magazine card? And this is the George Best uh, Nabisco Foods card. So there's a few kind of Typhoo, car, uh, Typhoo tea cards, Brook Bonds, I think maybe did one. Uh, this is the Nabisco Foods cards. It's not one that's particularly expensive. Um, but it's a fairly old one. Um, obviously, says one of the finest all-round players in the world. George Best has starred uh, in many international uh, internationals for Northern Ireland. Has hit over a hundred goals in two hundred and fifty games for United. Uh, in his twenty, his twenty-eight in nineteen sixty-seven to sixty-eight, making him the league's top scorer. Won the league championship with and European Cup medals with the club as he joined as a fifteen-year-old. I just think it's a really nice shot of him. Uh, it's not particularly in the best condition. You can see the corners folded up at the top and in the corners here. But as someone that really likes George Best as a player, um, him playing for Fulham, um, oops. And I just like the, I like his playing style. Um, it makes a lot of sense to be kind of picking up these cards for me. And you never know, they may pick up uh, in value in the future. So, oh, that one came off quite nicely. That was quite satisfying. Uh, parcel, parcel, parcel number two. I always struggle to just speak on Mail Monday videos. I can't get my words out half the time. Right, there we go. So we've got, I can use those for packaging. We've got a nice Roy Keane Island card, a Futera Platinum card. Cost me in the region of one pound, very, very cheap. Um, there you go, place a court, position midfield, nationality Irish. A Colossus towering over his teammates, if not stature, then certainly in comment, Roy Keane is a true leader of men, uh, as strong in thought as he is in tackle. He drives those around him onwards to success very very nice card there just one for the pc one that i didn't own i'm just trying to pick up as many roy Keane cards as i possibly can keeps the um keeps letting go of the kind of the more expensive cards uh, when i want to sell them it makes it a little bit easier uh, when i can pick up some cards some cheaper cards um of someone like roy Keane that I, I collect as part of a part of my pc Right, let's be a bit careful with package number three. Oh, it looks like we have another George Best card in cling film. It does make me wonder with these sort of older sellers, like what constitutes a sleeve. There we go. So this is quite a beaten up, and it was beaten up. I, I'm not too worried about the packaging because it was beaten up in the photo anyway. I knew it was not in the best condition. But this is a, a Topps card that I really, really wanted to own um, of uh, George Best in his uh, in his film kit. Very, very nice. So this is the 1977 Topps. Um, I did actually pick up the 1977 Topps. Uh, was... Uh, what was that? Probably got it on the side here because I'm yet to. Yeah. The Northern Ireland was the 1977 tops as well. Red backs. Whoops. So that's the Northern Ireland shoot goal all stars. And this is the, the kind of the standard tops cards with the 1977 red backs. Um, I did pick up a Rodney Marsh one from this set as well. Um, and yeah, definitely picking up. George Best is part of the kind of the PC, especially him and his Fulham shirt. Um, so this is definitely a card that I wanted to own. Absolutely battered, 
but I just do really, really like the design of it. I like the pink and the orange. That's a good picture of him there. Um, yeah, very, very happy with that. And for our final parcel, um, God knows where to start with this one. We have we have something in a top loader, which is good. Not sure about the tape though. There we go. We have an Andre Silva optic. Really didn't cost me a lot. Um, shout out to Football Shirts One Hundred One. Um, you would have seen in a, not, I don't know, I think it was the last one, but maybe the one before, the Mel Monday before the previous, uh, we picked up some stickers. So this is the 2018 Optic. Um, I think 2018 Optic is actually, although the cards can be quite expensive, like Phil Foden cards have obviously picked up, the um, Jaden Sancho one's obviously really popular, Vinicius is playing well in Champions League, so those cards are picked up. I do think... 2018 optic for soccer will be looked at one of the will be looked as one of those sets that was important in terms of the the, the hobby um there's so many great rated rookies from that set the card design is really really good there's international um kits there's hollows of optics there's blue variants red variants there's velocities there's i just think that set is unbelievable and if, it, if they can bring an optic set back and don russ like that with players like you've got killian bappe's 2018s you've got phil foden's rated rookies Jaden sancho's venetius who i've mentioned you've got for the, the uh, usa guys you've got timothy weyer you've got um uh josh uh sergeant has got an, a rated rookie in there um there's so, so many good players from that particular set. There's so many good rated rookies. I love the designs of all of them. I love the press proofs of all of them. Um, so I think if you can find players that maybe aren't being talked about or that you think you can kind of make a bit of a flip on, I do genuinely think 2018 Don Russ and Optic is such a good set. Alfonso Davies has got a rated rookie in there as well. So I think if you can find, if you can find sealed product... Of Optic and Don Ross, I think it's going to be one of the biggest plays you can have in soccer. Now, you do need a healthy bankroll to be trying to buy boxes of Optic. It's probably going to cost you a lot now, but I think it could be looked at as, as a serious, serious set um, to come. I think it could be one of those sets that in years to come, people look back and think that is the that was the pinnacle of, of, of sort of football soccer card collecting. Um so as I've said, Andre Silva is someone that I do like. Um, he's he's top goal top goal scorer in Bundesliga, or he is at the time of making this video. Uh, Portuguese playing for he's going to have Euros. He's going to have uh, World Cups. He's going to have a lot of eyes on him. Um, he's a striker, forward sort of players that you want to be going for. So for me, this makes complete sense. I didn't pay a lot for it, so if it flops, it flops. Um, sometimes you just take the hit on prospecting. You have to realise that not everything is a sure thing, um, and this isn't a sure thing. Um, but it's hopefully where I can I can maybe flip and make some money on it. I haven't got any serious ties to Andre Silva in terms of I don't support um, Frankfurt. I don't. I'm not big on the Portuguese international teams. So it's an easy one for me to kind of flip and let go of when the time's right. Um, but yeah, makes a lot of sense to me in terms of uh, picking up an optic card and picking up Andre Silva's optic card. So there we go. We got some George Best. We got some uh, Andre Silva in terms of prospecting. We got a Roy Keane in terms of the PC. Um, it is pretty consistent. I'm picking up a Roy Keane card every Mail Monday now. <laughs> um, but there we go. I mean, sometimes you just got to pick up the one pound cards just to uh, to kind of feed the uh, the addiction of buying sports cards, if you like. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, obviously please do drop a big like on the video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And I'll see you on the next Mail Monday. Thanks very much.